YouTube. I just recorded something so long. What happened? I just recorded something so long. I just cringed for a lifetime. 15 gigabytes of cringe. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't delete it. It's already gone forever, but um, I ran out of space. So I realized, yeah, I really dragged it along too long, but now I'm just depressed. Anyways, guys, I want to teach you something, YouTube. Enough of the depressing intro. We're going to cringe at the best player in the game, best team in the world, whatever. And um, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna see what it does to us. We're gonna see, when we watch this gameplay, what are we unexpectedly cringing at? What are we unexpectedly grateful for? With our context, with our contact with this gameplay, what is just the unexpected part? You know, the chemical reaction. I'm not watching this to be like, taking notes on what to do i'm watching this to see the reaction so i can like actually meet it in the middle take something away from it Getting bottom floor, bottom. so what i mean is i want all of you to watch this gameplay and just focus on the sick feeling you feel in your stomach when something happens focus on the happiness the unexpected you know hype and notice the relationship between all of that. So when you start cringing at the That's gameplay, the you might understand the gameplay more. When you start to like open yourself up to cringe, for example, let's go back here. Let's look at this R5. Enemy hitbox feels so jiggly. Feels so jiggly with the SMG. All right, it feels good to notice that. It's like, oh, it's like a light bulb moment. Right? Even though it's it sucks when you do stupid stuff and when you see stupid stuff, it's satisfying. There's a gratefulness. And notice, I'm going to fail to cringe a lot here. I'm going to be racking my head like upset about stuff and it's going to take me to stuff that makes me feel good. And then I'm like, wow, I'm stupid for trying so hard. You know, I'll feel like I'm trying to force cringe, but it's like in reality, you're cringing and you realize that you're just kind of tripping and over-focused or focused weirdly or just, you know, don't have the same knowledge that the player has. So you're gonna learn a lot by trying to cringe and failing and trying to cringe and succeeding. You can have a lot of compassion and gratitude for both of those. Get honest. All right, let's look at this game. All right, Bang Blood Cat. I like this when we have a lot of resources. I like this on SP. We have a lot of resources. <laughs> when I see teams run Watson on SP, it kind of annoys me because she's a resource character. She basically gives you more yeah. meds, but yeah. whose bags are running empty on yeah, SP? Yeah, Let's nice. be honest, like only starving children, basically. But hey, everyone starves as a child. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's see if they starve. I got a thermal charger right in. <clears throat> Unlock mines. Alright, okay. Alright. I'm cringing a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not going man. In between like small rotates, we can be looking at all the scans. I know we already know where all the scans are mostly because we look in the dropship and stuff like that. But when you're just completely AFK, like in this cross, yeah, like just look, just look at the map. Just look at the map. It feels really good. It feels really refreshing just to look at the map. You get a lot of unexpected like ideas. Not everyone's an IGL, but everyone seems to be so scared of just looking at the map. So I want to point out, he does this pretty good. Sometimes he does it pretty bad too, though. I have havoc on my like south south finger. I'm four zero, six zero actually. 
All right, House inventory is getting pretty vivid. Jen's inventory is not that vivid. Cringe. Mm, yeah, fun buildings, I guess. See how it makes a, gra a gratitude for Hal and a compassion for Jen? Like, oh, I feel bad. He doesn't, his teammates don't know what his loot is at this point. Pretty minor though, stuff at this point, though. but just, you know, follow that pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Need havoc, though. Gotta be careful. <clears throat> we gotta be careful of Stormcatcher. Uh, hitting into us. Be pretty chill. Might come Man, I was actually yeah, blowing a gasket last watch of you, and I just deleted it. I was losing my mind off of game one. Like, I'm kind of sad I deleted that bot, but... I don't know. Depression. Whatever. I can't, I, I might kill, I might kill Yeah, one. yeah, I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you. Not there, not there. Alright, we got the Evo, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, like, cringing that we're not with our teammate. But, you know, obviously we're getting the Evo. I'm cringing that we're split. Um, I'm happy that Hal's about to surprise him. I'm happy that we can probably surprise him too. I'm scared, like, how fast this team is going to move past and, like, how the what the window is of how we can surprise them. So I'm kind of cringing. Like, are we surprising people here? Like, how much are we surprising people here? Are we going to get a knock? What's going on? And I, I feel very vague with like Hal's perspective yeah. there. That is definitely a little bit cringe. This is gonna surprise them, but I don't really, I don't really know. He could see three people fully exposed and just say huge, you know, and it give more context. But oh. like, look at our focus. <clears throat> we shoot these people a tiny bit. We just gotta deal with dogs. really hard to get info between each other in like small moments like this it's hard I'm eight eight one. um <clears throat> another disclaimer i want to make since it's going to be kind of like a new series is this is not to blame people this is not to say you should have done it better this is not to even say what our preference is this is just to cringe at reality and be grateful for it too so just get more honest with how you already see it so you can move forward and learn is this still one of lunch mode? On accident. Oh, what? what? Yeah, there was one. Yes, the south finger. <clears throat> Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. Our Evo, we already hit an Evo. We clear the dogs. We get the red capsule. This is beautiful. Our team just got a huge buff. Compare this to a lot of people I've been coaching recently where at this stage of the game, we'd probably have 1100 EVO, and then in five minutes, we'd probably still have like 700 EVO. Look, we're already 400 away from purple. Notice how that's different than when you play, probably. And when you play with your trio, you guys are probably fucking slow as hell. Good, you're gonna make it. Gonna, yeah, I can, I can barely hear you, so I, if I don't say something like- Hello! There, I can hear you now. I shouldn't say probably, but you know, some they of you for sure. They find Havoc really, really, really good, really good yeah, there's, there's definitely a Havoc here. <clears throat> Alright, we have a pack. This is huge. I'm so happy for this pack and this player scan. Well, we can shoot these guys. That's nice, uh, we get the pack uh, and we can get these guys off. Can't be Echo? No, Echo's in Kyle there. Dev code. They're really bad. Really, really bad. I got those two. Yeah. I got Havoc. I'm insanely, insanely perfectly stacked. Yep. Yeah, I want no, to fucking fight people. Minus. I have absolutely everything. Yep. Oh, except for nades, bro. I'm not piling for my mag. Oh, I'm getting the. You should come to the front too. Can't stop biting my lip. Uh, you should open the like door. I'm like cannibalizing myself. Yep. How do we feel about nades in this zone? Nades are pretty good in this zone, right? I'd say meds. I would like meds more though. More than uh, a lot of I other zones. There's a lot of concentrated LOS and a lot of people have a lot of LOS in this nice. zone. Uh, oh, yeah. nice for you. Oh, I need that. Nice. Okay, I'm actually- Come home. Come on. I'm good. 
pretty fucking fortunate. Yep. You have type of havoc. Am I missing guess? something? Are you guys yes. cringing already? Yeah, I have, like, Is no there bad, anything about this gameplay that it. just feels w horrible? Yeah, got like yeah, a double uh, like, that we're yeah. not pointing at. Who are we fighting? Like, here's one thing. A lot of time when we're rotating, we're just super duper duper split. Um, so let's look at this player scan and let's see. Let's see how scared we are. They're of really bad. A split team formation. Really, really bad. I just lost yeah. So imagine our team triangles becoming isosceles as fuck. I got havoc. I'm insanely, insanely perfectly stacked. Like, yeah, I want the fucking come fight. On, open the map. Come on, absolutely. Come everything. on, open the goddamn map. Come on, come on, yeah. come on, bro. Really. Uh, all right, I'm cringing, guys. I'm cringing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay, freak out. Is anyone else freaking out There's that I didn't even talk about this? Here, I can have a chance. We hit this scan, and how much time are we all looking at it? You might get time finding out the compound. The team launch pad. All right, so we can pause and we can sit here and we can look at it forever. That's a luxury. That feels really good, right? There's no doubt in my mind that it feels good that we can look at this map for a long time and get ideas on accident. However, focus on the time where we're not looking at the map, okay? Just only focus on the time where we're not looking at the map. And focus on the duration of this player scan. The player scan ran out just now. So you have that amount of time to look at the player scan. And we have this amount of time where we're crossing and we're just not looking at all. It just sucks. I mean, I would prefer to see, I would prefer to look and be able to see where people are instead of just like, oh, I have all the information and I've made all the decisions and there's not nothing that I could possibly, that could possibly enter my mind on accident. You know, I've already seen enough information, sure. You could feel that way, but what happens when you keep looking, even though you feel that way? What unintentionally happens in this time where you're just running in a straight line? Uh, I'm getting the. Um. So that annoys me a lot. Um. Then the thing I went back for in the first place is this: our team triangle gets hella split on this rotate the only team we're really worried about surprising us is southeast right is there anyone else like northwest we're gonna see northwest before someone behind us before like a teammate struggling behind us sees it i'm not really worried okay. no, so that that okay. definitely got dispelled yeah. that like we're split we're hella split here now i feel good i'm glad that we got split because in that time we're getting extra loot Yep. You have type of havoc, yeah? Yep. Now what I'm looking yeah, I'm out like, for no, is at the front of our formation at some point we're gonna see opportunity and we're gonna be contesting our team formation plus that opportunity. Let's say there's opportunity here and our team formation pulls up right here and then we have 10 seconds of catch up where we would have benefited if we were all here and we sacrificed this loot so that we didn't have this split. So it's a loot versus like surprise slash um, the front force of your team triangle when you're rotating. But we need to fight the fuck out of people. He has got that crowd. Like right now, our team triangle is like this. If you look at the mini map, the front of the front of it does not have a lot of force. It's one dude. One. Double yeah, double. Uh, also, also after. Who are we fighting? Fucking anyone. Yeah. <clears throat> Got there. Got there. Carry another node. <clears throat> we're we're gonna are oh, we getting loot? Where are you grouping up? I'm gonna grab this mag. We have third ring. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, shooting. Yeah, we want third here. They're yeah. nading. Tunnel, tunnel, come in. Yeah. Is that blown off? I think it's shit. Alright, so now that whole question has has minimized a lot. So now we're only looking at this distance. Yeah, probably. And then, I'm gonna wait, actually. I'm gonna wait. There's still fight, like, stalling a bit. I've only seen one knock. There's one up here, Rampart, Rampart team though. They just stopped. They just zipped. On UV, 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 Really? Yeah, okay. 100! Fuck. 
On UAV, 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 here, really. Yeah, All right, so I should say what I'm looking at. I'm looking down here at our teammates' timing of when they start to shoot. So I'm trying to get a sense of the LOS that they have back here. On UAV. And th this is telling me a lot about their rotate and how they rotate. UAV, UAV, here, really. Okay. All right, so another team, my coach. Um, so okay. in PL, they just use the compass. All right, zero. If you say south, are you? Do you not trust your teammates to look south? Look at the time it takes them to turn. All right, they turn pretty fast, so I don't care. You know, my cringe has been fucking defeated. He's inside the building. Wait, he got down. Hal been shooting, but Jen been just staring. He doesn't have LOS. So Jen's down here, kind of AFK with this LOS, I guess. I mean, you can't even really shoot over this with this LOS down here. Like, let's look back at Zero's LOS back here. So Zero, imagine at this point with the info we know now, how high up Zero is. And where his crosshair can be compared to like Jen. Jen's maybe down here looking up, not seeing anything. And he's next to a box as well that would have a better LOS than zero. And the urgency in combination with all this is like a fucking eight. You know, he is losing his mind right here. Yogi, he is really. We see this from Hal, and then we have Jen's angle. It's just AFK. I mean, he 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 didn't know, like so he looks over there and he realizes um, too late. So in the time where we're saying south or UAV, whatever, Jen can immediately go up. Like he has boxes to respond to that with. He also has LOS, which is just really low. Um, we also have on UAV, 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 UAV. We can also say like south height, that might help our teammate who's. Who has a really low angle if we say south height or UAV height? Really? Either way, this is unfortunate. Fuck. I really don't like that. I'm trying to run back, no? I really do not like that he his angle He's is inside the building. tragic. Wait, he got really down, sucks. I think. No, he didn't. He's moving? Uh okay. I don't know. Yeah, Which one is your uh console? Yeah, it doesn't matter too much, it'll be impossible to get Alright, so remember what I said earlier with, um... Even though you're not getting surprised significantly on your rotate, you are going to be surprising somebody, and this split that you have between angles and team formation is all going to be factored. So, the low ground, the distance split, the different LOS, it all is very important in these tiny, tiny moments. Wait that we just play game after game. We play game after game and we just brush this shit off and it annoys me that this is how it is normal. It's hard not to, but like in reality, how bad does it feel that Zero is ISO here? Our team is shaped like this right now. Here's Zero. How, how bad does this feel? How bad does um like our terrain when we're rotating around and our LOS, like do do we just rotate with dog shit LOS sometimes, Jen? Like do we just walk around the map and be complacent with how our LOS is really small? We're right next to a bunch of boxes up high and people don't really know about us, and our team is like super urgent for a split second. You know what are we benefiting from being here in the first place? We have the head glitch. Um, I don't know. Like this, this, uh, this LOS just looks Fuck. really AI yeah, yeah. to Fuck. me. Honestly. Trying to run back, no? He's inside the building. Wait, he got down. I think. No, he didn't. He's moving. I want, I want y'all to be harsh and honest, but be equally as curious in how wrong you are. So I'm curious, like, how wrong am I? How, how good does it feel the positioning of our rotation? What am I missing? I don't know. This creates observation in the future.
They're behind us. They're helping me a lot. Which one is your uh, console? Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter too much. It'll be impossible to get. There's way too many people here. I'm in the mid kit. Yeah. They're running to the door. They're going uh, pylon. What pylon? Oh. Put on the tree in the pylon. Check the Betty. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. This team might try to fight for it. Let's go sit on the crates. Maybe get the UAV. It's just like yeah. How do you guys feel about cat up here versus the dog? I'm really curious about that. Wait, they go, they're trying to flank. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. I'm watching. Hard bar. Sick. This is so sick. Okay. So zone is, and we get this perfect timing on the green zone. That feels so amazing. Wait, they go, they're trying to flank. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. I'm watching. Hard bar. I'm uh, wait, wait, double back. Come try you. I want to know if anything is like running. If yeah. any opportunities are running, pumping through you guys' brains. That very scary. Feel so, neglected, I guess, or possible. feel blind to something like that. Any Could sort of like awareness be like... with this new zone. It's like when you see a zone like this, you might have different questions immediately. Like, how's the congestion here? Who did I see here recently? Which tells you stuff like here. You know, just like random questions like that. And um, maybe stuff over here as well. Once you see the zone, kind of lobbing this way. Staring at this. Hitting it. It's tripods. I like this a lot, by the way. I already watched this, and I, I want to point this out. This is so nice that they smoke the scan, and he's playing at the edge of his smoke. And he's he's like using that safety. People, a lot of people are scared to do stuff like this, but I want to remind you: the second you press sprint, the the millisecond you press sprint, you're gonna be fast as hell. There's gonna be a smoke on top of you, and you're right here at the cusp. You can really big dick it for your teammates at moments like these. I feel like a lot of times I'm seeing people just play shitty angles. Like rem remember that angle Jen was playing back here. It's really common for in this moment, even though you have smoke and you have stuff to have a presence, you just kind of AI out and just sit on a, a random ledge. So look at this ability. Like, how does this feel when you look at this? And you, like, I don't do this shit when I play bang. I don't do that. I feel so stupid, but I love it, you know? Um, I'm gonna remember that stupidity that I feel. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Shit is memorable. Yeah, I'm all the world. It's like sick. I'm all the world. Can you miss? Can you miss? Can you miss? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Punch you in. Um, I do kind of want to try to cringe at it though, a little bit. I'm all the world. So even though I'm kind of cooing here. Hitting it. Let's try Um. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't. I'm all the world. I also want to know how much do you guys value your ulti versus the player skin? I'm really curious about that. Like, I'm curious about if I could ask them, how much do you value your ulti versus this info? I, I have a feeling that someone might be 50 50 here. I'm really 50 50 here. I want to know more. Oh, the door shot? No. The door shot, the door shot, the door shot. I'll ult anyway. They're not pushing. They're just staying there. And like, if we're gonna ult this team to get this scan, what's stopping us from just ulting and killing them? With our nades and that, that nut. It's your problem, Todd. I'll tell you. I'm going. The wall is Um, but furthermore. Um, how much do we value our cat ulti versus this player scan? Because we just lost our cat ulti anyways in doing this. 
So you know, when, when you when you look for it the cheap way, you might have to recover with what you might have guaranteed it with anyways. Imagine we catwall here, we just hit the scan with a smoke. They're gonna pre-aim that for sure if they have the opportunity, but we saw that they were not pre-aiming it initially. So, you know, that's how it is. They're not pushing, they're just staying there. They're gonna find one side, I'll tell you. Call them back up. I'm going. Um, the smoke's a little bit of a different story because you can see through the smoke sometimes. You never see through a cat wall. Because you, you're fucking back facing them, it's like just impossible to hit. We can't even from here. Light off. All right, so we're not like. Look, I just want to say, when you when you're playing Apex, it's really easy to like keep the gas pedal on forever until you just crash into a wall. But look, we're triple purple. We have a lot of loot. We have a lot of meds. All right. We there's a lot of people out there um, that are worse off than us. Way worse off. So we're already guaranteed for stuff to happen, like for people, for victims to appear. You know, um, basically. What we do it early. Just just get a sense of hierarchy. Look at how close you are to zone. Look at the terrain around you that you're synergizing your characters with. Look at your inventory. Look at your info. How many people have it worse off? I mean, they've done a really good job this game of getting a decent spot with a lot of mobility options with evac and um, a lot of info to end up in like a really accurate spot. You know, not everyone Finding is so, is fucking free, but it's like, um, no, that's not even in. Not, not everyone is, is chilling. So imagine this, you're chilling. Like over here, this team is chilling. What teams are just not chilling? Like, where do you not want to be? You don't want to be stuck here, like going down here in this valley. That's just death, you know, being in this this valley. That's a hard rotate into this building, which is a hard rotate. You know, this is like Great Wall of China right here to me, kind of. You can evac over it. Okay. Hmm. All right, evac over here feels way better. So relative, this feels completely trash. You can evac on top of this and maybe get something deep. Maybe like walk up, evac, I don't know. <clears throat> just I get that sort yet. of sense ticking. I just walk, roll in the pylon. That's where like AFK. They might go for evac. We, we, we can rat. Buildings. They, they building. might uh... um, But my point is this is gonna help you feel a lot more like patient. You know, you might feel like you have to do a lot here. When you have a lot going for you, you have all of this force, you have your util, you have your evac, um, and then you have the stability of waiting here. You know, the height and the terrain, all, all that stuff. Everyone else uh, might be scrambling, you know, they might be scrambling around D tier, C tier spots. Meanwhile, you're chilling with a B, with full inventory, etc., etc., etc. I don't so, know if this will me, I don't think so. As you go through your macro, think about your team strength. It's not about terrain. It's not about anything individually. It's just mix it all up and think about everyone else's team strength mixture. When you pop off like this and you're you're looking hefty and girthy, man, you don't got to be Russian and, and minds tinkering and neurotically forcing and feeling rushed. Wait, that them? That's it. Stuff like this happens, where you're patient, you're sneaky, you're chill. Somebody else, and somebody else. And then someone else is not so happy. Okay, okay. They gotta run around and stuff. They're scouting Jurassic. It's oh, beautiful. Shit. I heard someone. Walking up. They're coming. They're walking up. They're on peak. This makes me very happy. Oh, yeah. For this. Just... Peeking, peeking, peeking. I'm dead. Nice. Okay. Other guys here, how many seconds away are we? What utility do we have? And how long does it take us to punish these guys for just losing their third member? How long does it take? Okay, Benny. Kill them, kill them! Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all! It's the SG, we didn't kill them! Alright, we're all pretty much grouped up. We know where everyone is. Um, I'm a little bit confused on this finisher. Or this thirst. I'm really confused, to be honest. Can somebody explain to me um, what they like about this? I'm really curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm running it down. I'm running it. Like it feels good to get yeah, the, the armor buff. Get it feels really bad. This distance feels horrendous, okay. and the change in this distance. So okay. the change is what okay. I want to. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! It's the SG. We didn't kill him. 
Okay. We're basically at the at the front, like matching everyone here, but then we end up in a completely different team formation immediately. We can get past it. We we get. That's the worst. All right. Team formation is just scuffed. It's just over. One guy's on high ground. All the high ground. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah. We're we're two one strong week with a huge split. Now we're one one one. Now we're two one. Now we're we're balling. These guys we don't even know where they are. I'm gonna look to kill the bank. I'm gonna look to kill the bank. Unsmokable. Not a smoke the other guy. He's in bottle. He's that fucking blow. He's in bottle. I can't. Batting. He's in bottle. Fly south. Fly south. I'm coming. All right. I want you guys to visualize the team bubble. So when this guy gets here, their team bubble, their LOS, is huge. This guy can shoot across the world. He can't shoot inside. The other guy's really safe, you know, everywhere in this bubble. Can I smoke the other guy? He's in bottle, he's in bottle, I can't. Batting. He's in bottle. Fly south, Al. Fly south. I'm coming. I'm back it up. Can I just zip up on the... I think we have to zip up on the map. 10 seconds scan. 10 seconds on scan. How did they get such, like, they got such strong terrain. When they had such a huge disadvantage. I'm, I'm running it down. I am running really down. lost. So we're this far away initially, and then they end up with 10 times better like, stability. No, 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 all right, now let's look at where our teammates are. So we're contesting all this cover here and stability, and we're doing the same shit. And now we're alone, and we're alone. I got stunned. Because the dog is so fast. Top, top. Zero is so okay, slow. Okay, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm coming up. I am so. Honestly, once they got that initial distance, it feels like there's not much they can do to like, you know, they just need to beat them to the zip by like three seconds, right? And beat them to this building by like four so that you can just avoid LOS and just keep going. It feels pretty doomed. Um, it really sucks that we got delayed and... Yeah, it just really sucks we got delayed. I'm trying to smoke the other guy. He's in bottle. When you look at how tight it really was. He's in bottle, I can't. Batting. He's in bottle. Buy south, buy south. This is such a huge time sink. Imagine this is just not happening and you're over here and you hear some other stupid shit go down. I'm coming. I'm back up. Can you zip up on the... Hmm. I think we have to zip on them, man. Eh? 10 seconds on scan. 10 seconds on scan. There is a All right, so, so far there's not that much. I'm just really sad that Zero got really slow. I'm just really sad about it. They're going for the cannon. There's one on the cannon. Hang on. I'm sad that we're under here and we have no control on the height when this stuff up here has no LOS on um or there's no LOS like from their height remember where the bloodhound was up here bloodhound was way up there and I feel like if there's three of us and there's a dude way up there this is just Completely. I think we take zip, no? With bang on audio? Come on. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You can go. But you're further away from zip, so. Oh, scan. Scan me. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Okay, go. Right, Maybe they'll just stall up here if you don't contest the zip. And once you get here, it doesn't really make it make a big difference. On you, on you, on you. This is cringe. Better run. This is really cringe, okay. So you you get past this point of cover. To where you get all of this new info, what do you do? Is that what you do? Like, how do you feel about that? How do y'all feel about this? How do you feel about shooting here? When you're looking at this, and you're looking at this head glitch. Cringe. Scary. I think it's a little bit like conservative on my part. If 
but it is scary, you know, just to get knocked here and how long we've spent here and how many teams we knew were back here. It's really scary to just get knocked potentially against a guy head glitching and just saying fuck you. On your if you beam zero here, it's gonna help you get away. I'm just gonna say, it's gonna really help you get away. Um, it feels good though. Like I don't need to worry about this. My teammates are just looking at us. So I'm actually tripping hard. So feels completely like neutralized. Or anything about that. This, Get him. this confuses me. This confuses me. Alright, this is a good good example. Like right here, I feel really good um, surprising this guy and having this cover. I feel really good. And that this guy's running straight forward. <laughs> this guy's running straight forward. He's running straight fucking forward. To contest my cover or just because he's confused yeah we're just like hard challenging forcing we're jumping we're not that surprising here think about how surprising you can be around cover how surprising you can be if you don't jump i don't know i think the jump is decent like the timing since it's towards the end of the clip you don't want to get punished throughout like you benefit from this part if they're dying right here right but <clears throat> just hard peeking this door when your teammates are not that far this guy's completely stuck on an island he's not going anywhere he's not going to go to a different continent anytime soon it's scary to like play this cover and potentially lose uh, let's see. I'm having a hard time not cringing. I'm, 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 trying, I'm, I'm, to, I'm trying to fight this game. See what I'm missing. It's kind of impossible. Walking in the door over here. I'm here. We have to make cannons. I know about the backside here. I'm going. I'm getting. I don't know, man. Like we took so much damage, I'm blown away. Let's look at this one more time. Like, are you guys blown away by this too? Oh, we took so much damage. This guy's in sprint animation, meaning he can't be charging his Havoc. <laughs> he can't even be pulling out his gun. Now he's pulling out his gun. Look, we walk right into his bullets, right back into his bullets, and we just jump. Like, what does that feel like? I'm trying to figure out what this feels like so it can change. We move to the right a little tiny bit. All right, we do a pretty big strafe to the right, actually. I like this a lot. This guy's shooting here at this point, so this angle slowing him. Uh, let's say this is a 30 degree angle. This is already slowing him, like his strafe that's in this direction. It's already slowing it by almost 50%. If it got to 45%, that'd be 50%. So I like this long strafe a lot. Like I'm not surprised that we're getting 176 with just insta long strafe, right? And this guy's really surprised. It feels really good. But are we really surprised that we're strafing back into his bullets right here? Like, is it surprising that this strafe just puts us into his bullets? Are you guys surprised by that? Because I'm not. Like, looking at this. With his love. Fortunately. There's flies. I planted mint in, like, these little flower pots. I put them in my room, and they've got, like, these weird little flies. We have to fight cannons. So I'm fighting flies. I know about the backside here. I'm going. Guys, scroll okay. down and buy a session so I can outlift the flies. Like, they might leave. I, get... I need to make sure I, I make weight and eat enough food so I can fight these freaks. Alright. Alright, they're just holding. <sighs> okay. Drop your medifee. Try to cringe at every single point of HP taken when you're about to do it. It's hard. But like, is there something we don't like about this? We have to count six soldiers. Sooner better. No, it's it makes me feel like a failure. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to lay a little bit. Did you get the media um, proof? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. I'm ready to lay All right, I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing, guys. 
All right, look at the LOS that we're that we're trying to get. Look at the time where we decide, you know, where we feel the urge to get LOS. So right here, we're getting the urge to get LOS. And this is what, what we do, all right? This is our LOS. It's just covered by the Titanic. So firstly, this sucks covering it, covering us. On top of this, so ignore this. Imagine you take zero damage, you still cringe. You have more LOS up here. Way more, way more LOS in the whole universe. On top of this, for a double cringe, your hitbox is like negative. You're just on that head glitch. As long as you can get this crosshair like next to this point of cover on the other side when you stand up back here and you're looking like this, you're gonna be microscopic. And you're gonna see more. I'm getting shot by. We have to count six cylinders. Sooner better. Do that, do that with your guys' gameplay. Watch your okay, gameplay okay, and then be like, what was my urge? Did you get the media fruit? My urge was simply to get LOS. Yeah. Like, what was what variable was the yeah, urge it, yeah. connected to yeah. most? Pop, pop, pop. Uh, dominantly. It's just LOS, okay, right? Yeah. Wait, they might not be there. And then look around. No, no, See how it makes you feel Ready? with yeah, how ready, it ready, actually ready. happened. You don't have to try to actually change how it happened. Look, there's team, there's team, team. I smoked it. Gain some perspective. Yeah, do it, do it. Alright. Nice Wall's sick, oh, yeah. I'm so sad that we don't have smoke. So how do we feel about the smoke? Yeah, do it, do it. And the smoke. And how do we feel about the info that we're getting? Like, that it, when we're in the air. So we're hard focusing here, which makes perfect sense. Team, team, team. I smoked it. There's, doesn't feel like there's much info I can notice. Yeah, do it, do it. missing. It's really hard. Nice work. The thing that sucks is um, we're not benefiting. Like this smoke doesn't really help us. I smoked it. Yeah, do it, do it. Like, sure, let's say we're gonna smoke our feet, but maybe smoke here or here, as opposed to just here. Cause look, the smoke pops and we're not even in it. So just notice that. I mean, unfortunately. We just, we put our smoke on cooldown for a smoke that we're not even in. We only benefit from this downward angle. Whereas it, it felt good helping us over here, but in reality, this is how it is now. On board. Shock it up, guys. Yeah, yeah, I got up, I got up. I'm up here. I'm up, up. So you got up. Here, okay. Yeah, on the wall, on the wall, yeah. oh. Healing, healing. Okay. No smoke, no smoke, no smoke, no smoke. No smoke, no smoke, no smoke. That's a lot of fucking comps, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that feels very cluttered. Healing. When there's audio right here. No smoke, no smoke, no smoke. And there's slides right there. No smoke. No smoke. Close, 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 close. Yeah, yeah. And now we got people screaming close. Um, You know how it, it, it like adds up. No smoke, no smoke, no smoke. Slide animation sound, footstep animation sound. Close, 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 close. Like we're all surprised by this a little bit more when we're just flutter flooding comps. I know. Maybe say. All right, I'm not gonna scream into the mic, but maybe scream into the mic that there's no smoke. Go back and train, maybe. Just say here. Like maybe that's what feels okay, okay. it's, like, it's just like a monotone ass no smoke. Like who gives a fuck? It's not even entering my brain. Maybe it makes sense why you why you're saying it four times because it is like boring. It's a boring ass calm. Your calm sounded boring. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, team far side, though. Team far side, guys. Team far side. They're wrapping up your side defense. Okay, okay. They're wrapping their defense. Yes. You peek. No, I'm not scared. We have to get an evac off no. somehow. They're wrapping us. They're wrapping us. Come on, Jules. You scared? Okay, looking, looking. Oh, no, 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 Yep. I'm looking, oh, yeah, I'm looking. He's so good at guessing where people are through smoke. I'm always impressed. 50? Okay, chill. Okay. We gotta play for the evac. Is there, is there a player that's better at shooting through smokes than Zero? Like, on your guys' mind? I'm just curious, like, if you see any beamers. Come fence, come fence. Any telepathic beamers. <laughs> All right, this is the same feeling that I got in the last part of you that I deleted that I'm kind of upset I deleted, but it was just a tragedy. And let's 
keep an eye on the time so it doesn't happen again. Anyways, right here, our hitbox is already big enough and we're pressing W. You see this shit? You don't need this space. You don't need to see past this point of cover. This point of cover and this like bottom of the ramp can line up so that it's one pixel. You know, this is like wasted distance here. You do have to aim over this in case someone is like, I mean, I don't, whatever. You get my point, right? We're just, our hitbox feels really fat. Fucking obese, like a rhinoceros. How much LOS are we getting by over peeking and seeing like extra info here? When you can match this point of cover with this angle. You can match this point of cover with this angle. But we're just obese jumping and we also heard a lot of sprints here we got shot at a lot here on top of all that my obese ass hitbox feels pretty stupid swing, swing, swing. Swing. all right swing 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 and then i want you to feel a jarring feeling so he's coming to swing i want you guys to empathize with jen and hal and try to feel your reaction try to feel your distance to your teammate that you are like re reacting to and catching up to try to feel that let's see if that's like a problem or like let's see how big of a problem it is what it's like all right so already our teammates are pretty much on us it's really hard to see far away it's really hard all right they might be perfectly on i'm not gonna lie like, I don't know how long it takes them to react. They're here. How far are they? You can kind of see their hitbox here or the minimap thing here, like separated. We've got this scan. This is just the Hawk scan. And then this is, these are teammate arrows over here. You can probably see those. I caught the shit, battery, battery. All right. This is hard. More so, you just have to pay attention to like the surprising feeling, the jarring feeling. It's more of like a mental thing. Swing, swing, swing. Swing, swing, swing. I got the shit, buddy. So curious. Swing, swing, swing. Wait, I'm so curious. I feel like he noticed something that I. Like, big. Okay, he saw two people up close. Is he just... I don't know. Swing, swing, swing! I got the shit, batting, batting! This is an insane bat. Okay, so that swing thing, I'm not really getting super potent feeling from it, but um, this... Like, how do you guys feel about this bat? What feeling does this bat give you as you sit here and you watch the seconds tick by? Consider that the, the DPS of a Havoc is like 200. Havoc rifle. 202 DPS, and I want to put this in perspective too. So the Havoc has a lot of DPS, a lot of DPS. You might be thinking, well, how much is like a Vault? 180. Now consider the mag size and everything. That's what, kind of why we have a Havoc problem, but um, time is ticking, DPS, bats. 100 HP, 100 value of armor in five seconds compared to 200 per second. 200, right? What the fuck is going on? This is not empty, by the way. How do y'all feel about this bat? How are we feeling? How, how do we feel? Pretend that you're your teammates. Pretend that you're your team. How is the jarring sensation overall? How is the jarring sensation for Jen? How is the jarring sensation for Hal? How surprised are we that we are in a fucking 2v3? Be honest. I got the ship. It's pathetic, bro. Like, when I saw this, I saw this live and I was like, I'm throwing up. That was fucking disgusting. You, you think they're just not, they're just not gonna be peeking you and stuff? When, when you, you're just getting smithereened? You just got smithereened and like this this is just soup the most claustrophobic push of all time. You hear all those? You see all you see this? This sucks, man. Holy. 
Is there like a reason why we can slow down here that I'm missing? Is there something here that's, that's telling me that it's chill? Like, what, what is this? Is it just a smoke that they're, the enemy team's not gonna look through? They're not gonna push through? They're not gonna do any counter push? They're not gonna do anything? Our teammates are shooting. How much is this? Look at this and look at this. Look at the gunshots. Hal's shooting. Where's Hal shooting? He's shooting this way. All right, we can see that and we're responding. Impressive, all right? I like that. We missed, unfortunately. Hal's still shooting. He's taking damage, he's tanking. Jen is not shooting. So this whole time, um, Zero swings out, immediately gets fried, sees nothing, pops a bat. Hal's just fighting alone. Jen is not shooting either. There's no nades being thrown. What is this fight? What is going on? Alright, he killed someone. Beast. I want to see his POV. Alright, now let's look at like aiming stuff. Uh, Alright, right here. Let's look at aiming stuff. Just feel the jiggliness. Just focus on the jiggly feeling. Just that's all. The, the, like, feel your zero and you're moving your mouse. But instead of moving your mouse, you're just moving the enemy hitbox and you're jiggling it or you're making it feel smooth, whatever. And instead of moving your uh, your character back here, you're just pressing WASD over here and it's affecting this also. Alright. It's pretty hard to cringe at. It's pretty chill. I think right here is the only part where it feels kind of like cringe for a little bit. Alright, so look at this correct and then let's look at their movement. Let's try to find clues that tell us that what we're doing doesn't make sense. If we can. So, okay. This guy's strafing this way. He's shooting our teammate this way. There's a fucking 90 degree angle here. This tells us that he's moving 0% over here. We are sliding this way, unfortunately, which is speeding up this guy's movement speed. So if he continues going this way, kind of makes sense for us to swing our mouse. If he swaps directions at this point, it makes sense that he's going to be stationary for a second. So he's stationary for a second, and he swaps directions. We end up directly in front of him. It's it, like this doesn't change that much for me at this frame but it does change a little bit for me like back here so when we look at this we can see this preemptively we can see where our teammate is aiming preemptively and you can see you know you can see ghosts through the walls like a schizophrenic pa 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 we're shooting him he's shooting us otherwise where the fuck is he aiming right so there's someone over here generally you climb up you climb up you look at this information you look at it you look at it you look at it you see a glimpse there okay you see this angle are you going to go this way or are you going to react a little tiny bit and maybe 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 move a little bit this way or maybe you can get all the way over here i don't know what you can do you know i don't know how comfortable he is with movement but how do you feel about seeing yourself see this information and end up going this way you know how tragic is that and what is that tragedy what what is the flavor of the tragedy to me this is just um <laughs> like let's draw a symbol for this because this is a really common thing this is gonna happen every fight and i guarantee everyone watching this does this and let me let me double check we're at 53 6.8 all right whatever let's draw a little symbol for this i want you guys to draw a symbol for this because this is present in every fight when you see a teammate shooting through i just think about this right angle that's like what came into my mind and then um a lot of like mystery leading up to it so there's like this tension that kind of, oh my God, what am, I, what am I drawing with at this point? Where am I? There's this tension that arises in this relationship when you see like a teammate. So this is the symbol. It's kind of a complicated symbol, but um, I'll give you guys a little quest, all right? Since this is something I feel so strongly about. Take this moment and this information. See how you feel see what you draw it's not going to be what i draw right? 
and then see what happens when you glance at this after you lose a fight you know it's going to remind you obviously of you know confusion you had maybe like let's say zero's doing this he's going to be like oh i flew this way when i saw my teammate li like that you know that's what the symbol is going to make him remember and re-experience and it's just going to help you in the future deal with this situation where there's all this tension and all this information and it's going to tell you what's relevant and you're going to autopilot better essentially so see how your autopilot changes when you start looking at this symbol seriously make a symbol for this this is an important fundamental of fighting your your teammates are always going to get shot at in every fight all right that means there's angles there's speed variation let's say there's um you know whatever you get my point at i just want to say at 90 degrees they don't move zero movement speed at 45 degrees 50 percent slow and it's gradual right so every pixel of knowledge that you get and reaction that you get and every bit that your autopilot improves in this way you're basically slowing down the enemy's movement speed from this awareness it doesn't have to be just in 1v1s. I teach people this in 1v1s and then they don't understand how to apply it in a 3v3 sometimes. Sometimes it's a little bit hard. This is, this is just what it looks like, you know? Just notice the first frame of a clue where the enemy has their side to you and you are fucking it up. Just notice it. Look at this. Look how fast this guy is now. Fast, right? That is fast as hell. That's about as fast as you can get when you, you are perpendicular exactly to where someone is and where they're dodging. And you're this close. Like that's Lightning McQueen right here. So when you make this symbol, you can look at it from both perspectives, the, the pain of it and the pleasure. But it's like a unit of measurement. This symbol is a unit of measurement. It just means this interaction goes on and you can measure it. You can react to it. You can play off of it. And you have to make contact with this. Let's say this this is the equivalent of 12 inches, all right? Being aware versus being unaware of this is like not knowing that an inch even exists. So make your unit of measurement and start measuring. And then look at it, you know, like right here, it's just tragic. If we're gonna measure this right here, this is, this is almost the worst case scenario where we have all of this info, we have all of this time, you know, that's another um, influencer time. So I'm going to put it there, lowercase, the teammate, the time, the question mark, the mystery of what you see through the walls, and then like the enemy with a little bit of variance. This is almost the worst, like the worst feeling. This is like a code red. If I were to look at this symbol afterwards, or w when I'm looking at this now, it's emanating red energy. It is not, it is not green like woo you benefited from this like imagine this is a thermometer it's either going to say 70 degrees or negative 100 like 150 degrees whatever this is in that range this is horrendous this is horrible this is like touching putting your body in the oven we lost you know we fucked up we, we, we really we really fucked up we really 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 did it just sucks you know, better luck next time same thing here so this is another good example when you're forced and this is kind of a good example when you're forced to just be head to head you're both really fast because you're perpendicular now we had this luxury that we could have gone to one this guy's teammate side but we didn't take advantage of it so now we're losing here fucking sucks man that's unfortunate way all right that's enough um of like ranting for now i'll be back let me know how you feel about this I want to inspire the public, no matter how dog shit you are. Let's say you haven't even played Apex. Let's say you're just getting into it. Or let's say you're a pro player. No matter who you look at, when you cringe and you are also like feeling good, like when you just when you just like try to stack up sensations and you do it repeatedly <clears throat> and you feel your honesty going up and up and up, you seriously feel your honesty improving and your contact with how you feel about the game improving the contact i want to inspire you guys to improve the contact 
of your emotions when you watch. And do that with pro players. See, see what you cringe at until you are getting passionate and immersed and affecting your gameplay and feeling different in the future. Stack up sensations. You're going to get a big mess of sensations throughout the review like we just did. And then there's going to be things that stack up. So let's say it's like this. Actually, this is a good example. Never mind. I closed it. It's like a light graph. We get all this noise and then boom, something's like this undeniably. And then, oh, something's kind of like that. So this right here is like this big ass fucking problem. Right, this this is really hard. This is really unfortunate. Something over here would be like Jen holding the angle weirdly during the rotate. You know, it was there and I noticed it, but it hasn't built up like this stuff has. So you can stack up messes and confusion and even numbness. If you're the type of player that feels nothing every time you vod review, keep stacking it up day after day after day. And let's say it's like this, because this is how it is for everyone. You get a little bump here, and you just keep going. You just keep going. You just keep going. What is happening? You just keep going, and every time you're saying, Coach Snoopy, I can't feel anything when I watch my gameplay. It's just a waste of time. You need to help me. Bro. Have you noticed at the very least after day seven that over here is a lot less significant than over here? Maybe focus a little bit more, all right? Get creative, have fun. I want you guys to have fun with this, all right? Go crazy. Realize you can cringe at anyone you want. You can have fun, you can be honest. Honesty is what, what's gonna make you better. It's not this determination sigma grind set like, I'm gonna be the best player and this is how I'm gonna be and this is what it's gonna be like and everyone's gonna be like blah, 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 blah. No, just grind it. Go to the gym, pull up a VOD, grind it the fuck out be honest if if from the beginning of the vod to the end of the vod your honesty feels like it has gone up notice that enjoy it if you've noticed that it's gone down notice it suffer all right i want you to suffer and have fun peace good luck let me know let me know let me know what this does to you on accident goodbye